Sure thing. My name is Ben, and today we're going to talk about sports massage. Massage has been used for thousands of years for relaxation and rehabilitation, and in a sporting context, massage is used to prepare for competition, between competitions, and to aid in recovery from competitions. A lot of athletes and a lot of coaches swear by massage, and they believe the symptoms of incomplete recovery, such as muscle pain, joint pain, tendon inflammation, restlessness, difficulty sleeping, and just general aches of pains, can be helped by sports massage. So Hackett proposed a sports massage model, and it has nine parts. Assessment, fixing, prevention, pre-event, in-event, post-event, restorative, assessment, and fixing again. So let's go through each of them. With assessment, when you first meet an athlete, we want to get all the information we can about them. Their current sport, their previous injuries, their targets and goals, uh, their current training, so we can find how best to help them. So the next thing is fixing. So any problems area, we can work on them to help free them up. And then prevention. Regular sessions throughout the season and throughout the training periods will help the athlete to train hard and to manage their tissue health and help them to mentally prepare for each training session. Pre-event massage. A massage before an event can be an important part of their pre-event preparation. It can build them up to a state of readiness, both psychologically and in the muscles and the tissues, so their performance can be optimized. So ideally, we want to give it 15 to 45 minutes before the event. Whereas if you're doing a deep tissue massage, that can be given, but we want at least 48 hours before the event for the tissue to recover. And then we can do stimulating or calming massage strokes. And this depends on the athlete and what part of the body we're massaging and on the event. So our pre-event massage should be given before the athlete warms up just to increase in the circulation of blood to the muscles and our muscles can be relaxed so that full range of motion can be achieved. And this can be a good time for the athlete to focus on the event and complete their mental preparation. So our pre-event massage should be maybe 15 to 20 minutes and shouldn't be painful. We want our pre-event massage to be done at moderate to fast pace, relatively light, and have a warming effect. So the type of strokes we'll be using effleurage, kneading, stretching, tapetainment. And our tapetainment strokes are used if we want to fire up an athlete or stimulate the muscle. For example, with a sprinter, we may want to relax the upper back whilst stimulating the legs and the arms. With the in-event massage, if an athlete is required to have several competitions or several events throughout the day, like heats and finals, or a netball or a touch competition, then we want to focus on the areas needing attention. So generally our major muscle groups, but these are going to vary between athletes and between the sports. The in-event session should be really short, 10 to 15 minutes, and nice and light. So we don't want deep and painful techniques. We're just looking to improve circulation and help to relax and recover. So this is also a good time for the athlete to pay attention to their psychological recovery, to be reassured and ready for their next performance. Post-event massage, the athlete should complete their active warm down and their stretching massage can be incorporated into their recovery strategies. So athletes can do their massage and their hot and cold baths, their compression garments, or any other strategies they feel helps. So we want to avoid any areas of acute injury or inflammation and identify problem conditions for follow-up uh, for treatment or referral. Post-event, we want soft, slow, rhythmical strokes to encourage relaxation and venous return. Soft flowing effleurage, large surface areas, gentle kneading, gentle squeezing, passive stretching, draining, jostling, and light effleurage. So we want to monitor the depth of pressure and keep talking to our athlete and also encourage rehydration and nutrition strategies as well. A few days following events, the next session could be a restorative session. Now this could be one of the longest sessions 
and attention given to most of the body and this is where we can really use deep tissue techniques because after they've had their event they may have a significant length of time where they, they have an off season or some downtime. If you need to do harder work then this is the time. Then the next phase is assessment again after some time has passed before they begin their next training load we're going to reassess to find any problems that may have developed over the season or over their event so we can develop a plan to work on those and then we come back to fixing. So addressing any dysfunctions that may have occurred. So that's Hackett's sports massage model. Assessment, fixing, prevention, pre-event, in-event, post-event, restorative, assessment and fixing. <laughs> <laughs>